G'day, thanks for stopping by. Had an exciting couple of weeks travelling up the east coast of Queensland. We visited the town of 1770 and then went on to a place called Cape Hillsborough. Both of these towns were really interesting and we found them very fascinating. We spent a few days at the Captain Cook Holiday Village, a nice park in the bush setting. It was very pleasant there and provided good access to 1770 and Agnes Waters. Using our G'day rewards, we got a $6 a night discount, so the site cost us $41 a night with power and water. There is a pool and a camp kitchen available for guests. Oh, one of the bonuses about this park is the fish and chip shop they had up the front of the park. They had good quality fish and chips available at a reasonable price. The park is well laid out, and on our side had plenty of room for our van and car. We found out there were quite a few walking trails in and around 1770. The first one we explored was the 1770 Butterfly Walk through the Joseph Banks Conservation Park. Taking you along the shoreline of Round Hill Creek, the trek leads to the 1770 Headland, which offers spectacular views overlooking Busted Bay. The walk is considered easy to moderate, over 1.2 kilometres, and can be completed in less than an hour. Then back to the car park at the Captain Cook Monument. Keep an eye out for the blue tiger butterflies, also known as the Captain Cook butterfly. Another of the walks we enjoyed is located at nearby Agnes Water and called the Paperbark Trail. It's considered an easy walk and is about 400 metres long and can be completed in less than 45 minutes. Not sure how you'd go with a wheelchair and pram on this walk though. This short but creative walk weaves its way around a circular paper bug trail in Reedy Creek Reserve. The trail was a mix of stepping stones, boardwalk sections and water crossings. Yep, this was a fun little walk to do. What are we doing today, Paul? Today we're doing a cruise out to Lady Musgrave Island. Lady Musgrave Island is about 60 kilometres from the coast here in 1770. The cruise we're going on um, with 1770 Reef is a lunch provided and we get to do a nature walk around the island and some snorkeling around the island with the potential to swim with some sea turtles. So we're looking forward to that. Your fingers crossed them. that's what we see out there. It's a beautiful day today, not much wind. Sun's out. Two days away. It's good to see. Good day. To go on cruise. Definitely. Let's go. So we headed off full of excitement and anticipation, looking forward to our aquatic adventure. I hadn't been able to get the boat out for two days previously due to the weather, so I'm pretty fortunate being able to get a day like today and being able to get out there. Thanks. So we settled in for our one and a half hour boat trip out to Lady Musgrave Island. And don't let these calm waters of Buster Bay fool you. Once we hit the open waters, we felt the full fury of the sea, triggered by the previous day's storms. Well, that was a waste of time eating breakfast this morning. The waters around Lady Musgrave Island are quite protected and calm. So our tummies quickly settled and we were able to enjoy this beautiful place. We headed over to Lady Musgrove Island on a glass bottom boat and were stunned by the richness of blue waters, coral and the sea life below us. We were even greeted by a turtle swimming just ahead of us. Pretty amazing. Once ashore Lady Musgrove Island, we were impressed by the beauty of this coral cave. Have a look at this. 
This island is basically a pile of coral debris. Over time, you get soil and plants and trees growing here, all assisted by the birds that visit the island. Truly spectacular. Interestingly, you can book in to go camping here on the island. It's only about $7 a night, but you do have to find your own way of getting to the island. And that could set you back quite a bit. We headed back to the boat for some lunch, and then hopped in the water for a swim around the coral reef. The underwater scenery is stunning. The coral, the fish, we even spotted some turtles resting below us. As our day at Lady Musgrave Island drew to an end, we headed off into the sunset and back to Busted Bay, 1770. The trip back was a lot smoother than this morning's trip, thank goodness for that, and we were able to enjoy the ocean view. So it's Winder's birthday today, and we're heading off to Yapoon. But before we go, we're going to stop in here at Campos, 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 and have some brekkie, a birthday brekkie, with the birthday girl. This place looks alright. Yeah, it does. Good for the Was it? Yeah. Hmm. Look at the entrance to it. A tropical retreat and so on. Yeah. How nice is this place? Beautiful, eh? Mm. It looks like a very healthy menu here. I'm going to have that one. Breakfast recovery burger. After a day on the water yesterday, I need something for my tummy. What do you think, birthday girl? I'm excited, yeah. I know they do gluten free. Um, so I'm thinking about the smashed avo. Smashed avo. Or even the Avo sweet chili scramble looks nice. Avo sweet chili scramble. Okay, let's order. Well, that concludes our time at 1770. Off to our next adventure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Agnes Wars in 1770 have been really interesting, hasn't it? It has, yeah. Yeah, really, really interesting little places. Yep. Yeah. Had a lovely breakfast at the um, the garden cafe. The getaway. The getaway garden cafe. 1770 getaway. Yeah. It's called. Was it? Yeah. Oh, there you go. But Some was... silly fella called it Campos. <laughs> Boom, my yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> don't, know. don't know why they would call it Campos. <laughs> but just... it was a lovely <laughs> breakfast and a great way to start my special birthday. Yep. All right, off to our next adventure. Yippee. Let's go. See ya. So we made our way to Yippoon for a couple of nights. Originally we had planned to stay in Rockhampton, but we were un unable to get a caravan site there. The whole of Rockhampton was booked out for their biggest event of the year, Beef Week. Beef Week is all things beef. Rockhampton apparently is known for their beef. So we stayed at the beachside holiday park in Yapoon, right on the beach. Wenda wanted steak for her birthday dinner, so we went to the, the Rocks, I think it was called. Yeah, it's called The Rocks in your food. And it was a beautiful restaurant. So for dinner, the menu consisted of steak. And beef. And steak. And more beef. <laughs> and I think there was pumpkin. One morning, Paul went out for a stroll and noticed a couple of dolphins so close to the shore. He figured they must have been getting breakfast. Our original choice, Yapoon was certainly worth a visit. It is a beautiful seaside town with some great views along the coast. 
There are some beautiful islands just off the coast near Yapoon, including Great Keppel Island and Pumpkin Island. And all of a sudden, it was time to leave Yapoon. Hitched up the van and headed up to Cape Hillsborough. We stayed at the Cape Hillsborough Nature Tourist Park, right on the beach. Power and water for $42 per night. How good is this? Kangaroo is coming to visit. This park is a haven for native wildlife like these kangaroos and this kookaburra. One of the highlights of a visit to Cape Hillsborough is an early morning visit to the beach to see the kangaroos and wallabies feeding on the seaweed and mangrove seed pods that have washed up overnight. And with the magic sunrises here, what more could you want? What have you found, Paul? What's that? It's a goanna. Check out this fella. And this one, enjoying basking in the sun. We spent hours just walking along the stunning beach. As the tide goes out, it exposes a beautiful beach littered with jagged rocks, sea life and tiny sea creatures. There was something very therapeutic about walking barefoot along the water's edge. We're going out on a, a walk here at Cape Hillsborough National Park. And one of the many trails that's around this area. It takes you through bushland and out to the coast. And up and down some hills. A beautiful looking walk. It's a perfect day for it. The shade from the trees is very much appreciated. What do you think, Wynn? What are you saying, Paul? <laughs> 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 dawdling back there. How beautiful is this? There are mangroves across there, which you probably won't be able to see on the video, unfortunately. ahead of us, or the bay that's Cape Hillsborough. Hopefully we get out and spot that in a sec. Alright, let's keep going. The walk we're on is called the Yubera Plant Trail. The Yubera people were the first human inhabitants in this area and there is a lot of evidence of their habitation that can still be seen on the walk today. Apparently this is a stone fish trap where the traditional owners built uh, a rocky oh. path to the entrance. So the fish come in and then they trap them in here. So they, they, trap, they come in at high tide and then they're trapped in low tide. They can't get over the rocks to get out. It's, it's, it's kind of like built between two natural rock outcrops and then they kind of put the, the stones in the entrance. They place the stones in the entrance. We got back from our walk and we're met by a couple of the locals. Caravan Park is well laid out. There's plenty of room, good sized sites, well kept amenities, including a laundry and a beautiful swimming pool, but it's quite isolated. Although the shop offers basic groceries, you really need to be prepared to bring your own supplies. Another beautiful walk we went on was the Beachcombers Cove Walk. It started at the picnic ground just outside the caravan park where we rode to on our push bikes. We went up over a hill which had beautiful views of the bay and then you climbed down the side uh, on a path down the side of the hill there onto the beach 
and open up onto this huge expanse of sand. With the tide being out, we're able to walk around along the beach, back to where we left our bikes, then back to the caravan park. A fantastic way to end our trip to Cape Hillsborough. Well, that's it for this part of our trip up the east coast of Queensland. Thanks for stopping by. Yep, we still have a way to go, so we hope you can join us next time as we head into Airlie Beach and explore some of the beautiful Whitsundays and beyond. Bye for now. Bye.